Hey guys! This is going to be a bit more haphazardly because we're dealing with such a big box. But I finally got my Jack and Dexter's Collector's Edition in. I also pre-ordered Jack and Dexter um, by itself. Well, not the Collector's Edition. And we're actually not going to open it. Uh, I have both the cards. I fortunately was able to find both of the silver cards. We'll take a better look at all this that we have here later. Along with, we're going to seal these in protective casing. Because these will never be opened. Um, but the main thing we're showing off today is the Jack and Dexter Collector's Edition. So, let's open it up. I've been waiting for this for months. I can't, I have not been able to wait. Take away some of the bubble wrap. Oop. And we have another card. Just Jack and Daxter. Same card we have here. Well, like I said, we'll look at those later. But, oh my god. Here's the box. I still can't believe I'm holding this. <laughs> From Limited Run Games. Um, there's only 2,500 of these available to the public. And some people may be looking at me like, Oh, you're an idiot. Open Collector's Edition. I really don't care. Jack and Dexter is my favorite franchise ever. From PlayStation. And from Naughty Dog. Like, I love The Last of Us. I've never really played Uncharted or Crash, but Jack, its that was my childhood, man. We're going to open this baby up in a second. Make sure there's nothing else in the box. Because like that card, sometimes they like to put other things. No, nope, that was it. There we go. Let's bring these with us. So we actually have an extra card. Yeah, and I talked about limited run games before. And <clears throat> I love them. I've been buying their games from them since they started doing Switch titles. There we go. Right on the tripod. Um... I've been buying their games from them since they started doing Switch titles, but I haven't really been buying their PlayStation titles. But when I saw this, this I knew I had to grab. So, we're going to open this baby up. I'm still so ecstatic that we have this little little Naughty Dog paw print right there. On the spine, we have this ornate stuff on the top and bottom. Jack and Dexter, the Precursor Legacy. The main collectible in the game, the Precursor Orb. And... Naughty dog. I, 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 I'm, I'm just so happy. I don't even know what to grab first. Well, let's grab the... Oh my god. This is the precursor egg, and you can tell at the bottom that they that they made it so you can just hold it like that. And Jack's 
Jack's just writing. Like, they have their own language. What this writing actually says, it says in their writing, uh, starts here. Naughty dog. And it says naughty dog again. And then down here it says mad man. Ma or men. It's either mad madman because those are the same letters. Yeah. It says naughty dog madman. On it. Nothing's at the bottom other than a can't even get a focus on it. I, just looks like a little divot, little thing there. Like this does look beat up, but that that's obviously the point. It, it looks so, I don't even know what it's made out of. It's so beautiful. So put that down. We have, ooh, little memory. Remember these when you had to save your games to memory cards? And they never said gigabyte, they said millibytes or megabyte. So, uh, how do I, I don't want to damage it, ah, there we go, it's a little U USB stick, put this in your PS4 and, and let your friends know that you still got a memory stick, and you know what, if you really want to, I'm pretty sure you can just save your game data from a bunch of games on here. 16 gigabytes should be enough for a lot of that. So we got a little black memory card. The precursor egg and the design bible. Oh, and here's the game. Literally the same the same way the other one is. I don't want to hurt anything. And we got a few other things in there too. So let's let's actually take a look. Yeah. So literally everything about these two are the same. So in fact, the the one I'm getting in the collector's edition uh, seems to have the uh, film on it a little better. So we'll keep we'll keep that one for the ceiling. This one we'll open in a second. But I wanna uh, we'll, I wanna eyeball this design valuable so badly. Um, let's actually show off the cards. So. It's in its film, so you actually see me better. Nah, that's that's pretty good. And we're, well, I, I put them in here just so they would never got damaged, so um, so nothing would happen. But we'll take them out and uh, we'll get a better look at them. Yeah, and the back of these cards are the black and white. Just want to eyeball this this book right here. I'm not gonna read through it all yet, but I I will later. Project Y, two thousand one. Table of contents, maiden character, sidekick, arch villains, sister brother, supporting cast, minor, craft, maiden character, sidekicks. I would, uh, to be in to be in the room when. The two guys were making this. The two founders of Naughty Dog, I believe. They don't even have his name there. It just says sidekick.
Baxter's human form. Oh my god. I s I still can't believe like he looked that way. Gaul and Maya. Gaul. Supporting cast. Samos. The Sage. Kira. Which isn't actually... You can tell this is like early development stuff because she was not... Um, his assistant in the game. He, she was his daughter. Supporting characters. The farmer, the bird lady, chief, explorer, sculptor, fisherman, warrior, miners, geologist, Billy, gambler. And the other sages, which you never really learn their names. Some of the lurkers, uh, the jungle boss. They don't even look like this. Wow. Yeah, the, these these ones look more like them. Shield Lurker. Bone arm. I don't even remember a Shield Lurker. Hmm. Dark eco infested plant. Ram lurker. I don't even remember him. The zoomer. Two thousand one. The little flute flute. Precur seven precursor technology. There's the orb. Oh, and look at these sketches. Kind of like Castle in the Sky, some of them look like. Oh, yep, and here here's the transcript, so let's see, and yep, and a and where's M? Yep, M A D Yep. Naughty Dog Madman. Plot slash story. Story synopsis. I'm not going to read through this. They literally have like the whole story written down, I think, though. 
collect 90 orbs, collect 90, yep. <laughs> Revise 3-1, 2001. Level art, world map. Yeah. Yeah, Jack and Dexter was the first open, like, seamless world. Like, without loading screens, you can go to and from any of the worlds. Like, areas. I am falling in love with everything here. <sighs> the jungle. I always loved like the precursor technology and how it looked. Don't, don't want to bore your guy, you guys too much. Kind of thumbing through it. Anything that really catches my eyes. Yeah, this is a very thick book. That right there I like. Oh, what I would do to be working with these guys or anything. Size comparison. Just miscellaneous stuff. And the reason why they got Jack on the side is because he's the base. And some crates. Josh, I, I am incredibly honored that you you were able to help put this together. <laughs> Everyone at, at Naughty Dog and and PlayStation that helped made Jack and Dexter. This was my childhood. Let's see what else we got here. I believe this is a two-sided poster. Open this up. No, it's one-sided. Um, I would say if you guys are able to, not saying you will, if you guys love Psychonauts, I, I am not, uh, I, I never played Psychonauts, actually. Um, if you guys like Psychonauts and are really into that game, um, that's available for pre-order right now. Um, see if you can pick up a copy not not sponsored or anything it's just you got to love uh where's uh, i know i grabbed like s my multi tool ah oh, here it is be safe and also don't damage it <laughs> because there's no replacing it 
Oh, and an old jewel case, too, now that I'm looking at it. There we go. Close that up. So we have the official soundtrack. Two discs. Just... Thought it was supposed to be three. Yeah, two discs. Gall and Maya on the one. Samos and Kira on the other. And a power cell! I don't even think they were in any other game but the first one. Oh, that's not a book. It's it's just a sheet. Jack and Dexter on the front. Holding some yellow eco. Now this, I believe, are cards just for Jack and Dexter. Take your time. Now these are not the same cards that that I was showing off before. These are special cards. Gall and Maya. Daxter. Kira. Samos, Jack and Dexter on the board, the orb, um, okay. oh. Jack and Dexter in front of the orb, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, eight cards. My favorite one's probably the Gall and Maya one. Can't put these in nice sleeves. Keep it somewhat in its original sleeve for now. And I believe... Yeah, that's in there... It's in there good, and I do not want to, I do not want to force it. So, let's put some of these back. The CD I'm actually going to take out again, because I want to listen to those. Poster. Uh, the game I'm going to keep out. The design bible. Thumb through later. Put that back in, and okay, put that back in for now as well. In fact, you know, I'll just put the game back in too. Uh, no, no, we won't put the game back in because we're gonna open it and we're gonna seal the other. So let's put this in the side. Actually, we'll if I have the room. Yeah, I have the room. We'll put it in the back. And we will, I've never done these, so hopefully it won't be hard. We'll do the cards first. I've never sealed anything like this before. So. Okay. So, move those out of the way. And put that down. So, which one was the more... This one was the more tightly sealed one. The card... This is the unsleeved card. So... I'll, I'll leave my sleeved one in its sleeve. Yeah, I'll leave this one in here. Because this one... is nice and crisp. 
and we will put it in lock and key. So. just gets placed right in and this drop the front sorry fumbling around with it. I'll place it in like this just slide that down we have to screw that in Let's just get in a little bit. Come on. Hmm. Let's just get the screwdriver out. Now is it a really tiny one? Multi-tool. Yeah, that's this one. Yeah, it fits right there. Is it like not lined up? It's like making a little ticking noise. That's just the screw getting tightened. So now that card is fairly protected. Nothing should happen to it. <laughs> That's nice. I think I paid $4 for that on their website. Unsleeving this. Get a better look at it while it's not in its case. I do it the same way we did that one. So that's the face of it. That's the back. Slides right in through the bottom. And a screw right through the back. This one went in a lot nicer. Oh. There we go. Nice and focused. Yeah. You get a little wiggle room with it, but I believe that's just natural. and the protective case. Now this is actually sealed fairly well. 
those came in like one wrap things. So this is like double, triple <laughs> fighting with it right now. There we go. So, nice clear case. Oh, I see. This is this is pretty neat. So, I take it out the bottom. And yeah. Push the game through. That's nice. So. Yeah, this one's looser. This one's looser. This one's tighter. So. Just, you know, the wrap. I'm feeling the wrap a bit, so. Push that in. Oh. Doesn't want to go back in now. Okay, take your time. There we go. And we got a copy of Jack and Dexter perfectly sealed in a protective case. I like that. That's kind of ingenious. Instead of doing a bolt, you just push it through. Yeah. But that's the cards and that's each individual card. So those will be preserved. I am preserving these. Um, battery's actually dying, so we'll have to Hurry, and we're over over a half hour already. So I am taking forever. <laughs> sorry, I am sorry. And right after we finish Crash, we are going to play through Jack and Dexter. This this looks familiar. But yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's like it's from 2001 again. Jack, my boy, I hope this comes in handy on your quest. Good luck. Your uncle, Uncle Samos. The original art from the PS2 one. Oh 